we're going to take a look now at playing from the iPad. Move over here to the music record group I have, which is second from the left on the top row. Open that up. And then I'm going to first start off with the middle icon, second row right in the middle, Net MIDI, an app from iConnectivity. And I've already renamed the first of the four Ethernet ports on the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus to Piano Disk ETH1. I'm going to select that and make sure it's checked on the right side. And then I'm going to close this app. Now I'm going to select MIDI Knob, which is another app I downloaded off of the uh, App Store. It's not for my connectivity. And this will allow me to set the volume on the piano disc, which would otherwise be whatever volume the last uh, piano disc selection I played was at. Now before I select Synthasia, which is the middle icon on the bottom row, I'm going to go out and instead just pull the MIDI file straight in from the email. Select my email application there in the bottom, and then go down to uh, the email that contains the MIDI file that was sent. I'll scroll down to the bottom of that. I'm going to select the MIDI file on the left, and I'm going to say Open in Synthasia, the third app from the left there. Synthasia opens. And then I just select Watch and Listen Only. And uh, it has the little scrolling border around it on the left. And now the notes will start to drop from the screen. 